Lego Marvel Avengers. I was sat there the other day and I solely believe this game was made just for them to make this one singular level. Then after the fun was over, they were stuck creating stretched out levels from simple scenes in the Avengers movies like, why am I cleaning the helicarrier? Anyway, that one singular level is Earth's Mightiest Heroes, featuring one of the best scenes from any Lego game. We will get onto that soon. I am sure you have heard this before. They say when you get older, you grow out of certain things. I am sorry, but this simply ain't the case. When I am beating the bricks out of people as Lego Hulk, I still feel the exact same as I did in 2013. Do you remember my love for train levels? Of course you do, it was only a minute ago since I told you. But this is kinda like a disguised train level, instead we are riding an armoured space snail. The next part has you playing as Hawkeye and Captain America rescuing civilians. This is your typical LEGO Avengers style level design. Coming to think about it, the amount of times you battle on the streets in this game, they should have called it LEGO Street Fighter. <laughs> TT Games knew exactly what they were doing here, forcefully feeding me more Hulk, slamming Loki back and forth, and yeah, this level is pretty epic and I like it how it does feel like a pure Lego-fied version of the movie. It just has that edge over High Noon Saloon because it has a little bit more going on with it having three separate gameplay sections. Now, yeah, I know this technically ain't part of the level's gameplay, but the cutscenes in this level are killer and it really does help impact my overall enjoyment of this level. Seeing a baguette fly at Loki's face at full pelt is uh, what I am on about. Hello, hello, hello there guys, thank you for watching today's clip and if you want to check out the full video there'll be a link here for you, go on.